Chicago native Terrence Shannon Jr. is back in his home state with the flagship university, University of Illinois. Terrence, first of all, thanks for joining us. And I just sure. want to start with what was it about Illinois at this point right now when you're in the transfer portal that stood out and made you want to come back? I had a good relationship with, with the coaching staff. Um, I was coming back home. And once I entered the transfer portal, I got in contact with Coach Tim Anderson, Tyler, un and Coach Underwood. They uh, contacted me, and they were with me throughout the whole process, and I felt like that was the best move at the end of the day. Coming out of high school, they were recruiting you as well. What was different this time around about the program where it was the, the finishing blow that made you want to come to Illinois? Well, when I was, when I was younger, uh, it, was, it was just like me. Going to college, just trying to make the best decision for me, and and like they were, they were, they had a pretty good team, and I wanted to go somewhere where I felt like I was needed, and I know they wanted me, and they may have needed me, uh, but they they still did good. Uh, but now, like then again, to circle it back to now, like they, I felt like they needed me, and they also wanted me, and they didn't have like any bad intentions to just want me on their team or just to get me just because of who I am, but. I love, like, I love, I love being here. Uh, it's great so far. What does it mean being from Chicago and being back in your home state to represent that flagship school in in your home state? It's great, man. Um, played at Lincoln Park in Chicago. Um, now I'm here in Champaign. It's dope. Uh, a lot of people text me from back home and high school saying they're happy to see me here, and it's just a good feeling being able to play for my home state. And coming in here there's a lot of turnover with, with this year's team from last year you're one of the new faces how have you been trying to take up that leadership role as a guy who's been to the NCAA tournament who has been in these deep postseason runs and coming into a new place and trying to help out with the team that needs leaders uh, I just do my best uh, leading as lead leading like showing them uh, being, like them seeing me as a leader and me being like a vocal leader too so they see if they see me in the gym, they'll feel like they need to be in the gym. And like I always tell them, they can come and ask me questions. Like I'm about to be a senior in college, and I've been playing for a while now, and like I kind of know how things are. So if, when the freshmen are struggling, uh, I just talk to them, try to keep their spirits up, and I also listen when when I'm I may be wrong or if somebody knows something more than me. And there's already veterans here like Coleman, RJ, and Luke because they've been here this year. So I listen to them. They know Brad a little bit more than me, so just knowing when to lead and when to follow. There's a lot of growing up that happens in college. You've had your three years at Tech. What was the biggest thing that you learned playing with the Red Raiders before coming to here? Uh, the biggest thing was I always played defense, but defense was the biggest thing. But when I was at Texas Tech, I feel like throughout my years there, uh, I, matured, I matured a lot. Uh, I feel like I got... I grew up more, um, and I still am growing up. But I feel like I'm very much mature now, and I, I don't. I'm not like a little kid anymore. <laughs> how much has your game evolved in that time as well? How are you a different player three years ago to where you are now? Uh, just I'm more. I'm more built now. I'm stronger. Uh, I, I can read the game better now. Um, just watching film uh, just just makes you better. Can handle the ball better. I'm shooting it better now, and with Coach Brad's system, I feel like I'll thrive in it, and I'll show everyone what I can do. And as far as fitting into a role on this team, uh, Brad has mentioned that you've done some bringing the ball up the court. You've been playing wing. Where do you see yourself finding your role in the team this season? Uh, I'll be pretty much everywhere. <laughs> um, wherever they, wherever Coach Brad needs me to win, that's where I'll be playing. Uh, but yeah, like like in practice, uh, we don't. I don't really have a position, so like I play pretty much everywhere. And tell me about the 1,000 shots today. Brad said you're waking up earlier than the rest of the team and trying to get 30,000 this month. What is that all about? Uh, it's just it's just a goal I made for myself. Um, just just trying something. Uh, just just being hard. Uh, I uh, we had this. I went to the Damian Lillard uh, the Damian Lillard uh, skills um, camp and. It was. It talked a lot about how how hard he worked and what he did different to separate himself. And that's what I'm just trying to do and 
show my teammates like I'm, I'm working hard and that just push my teammates to work hard. Well, let's do some, some personal fun ones. Now, I know you're from Chicago. Do you have a favorite Chicago-based artist? Uh, Polo G. Polo G? What's your favorite song? Uh, Relentless. Relentless. That's a good one. I like his verse in uh, Hate the Other Side with Juice World. That, that's, that's my favorite Polo G. Uh, favorite holiday? Christmas. Why are you such a big Christmas guy? I, lo I love the snow. Um, <laughs> I love Christmas songs, listening to Christmas music. And the spirit is, is like, unmatched. It's unmatched. When does Christmas music start then for you? November 1st? No, nah, it, it's all year round. Uh, <laughs> whenever I hear Christmas music, I turn it up and, and I'm listening to it. Like, I just love that. It. It's the best time of the year. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. All right, let's do some superlatives on the team now. Who has the best jumper on the team? Me. You got the best jumper? Yeah. Who's second best after you? No, nah, no, nah, I don't got the best jumper. That's <laughs> just the competitive side of me. I would say Luke Goody okay. has the best jumper on the team. Who's the best defender on the team? Me. Okay, yeah, second, uh, second best to you. <laughs> uh, Ty Rogers. Okay, g going with the freshman there uh, as well. Uh, who is uh, just the, the guy with the biggest motor, the highest motor? Ooh. Ty Rogers. Really? Ty Rogers again? Okay, what about uh, talking the most trash? Who talks a lot on the team? Coleman. Coleman, okay. Coleman. Coleman does? Yeah, Coleman. All right, and, and maybe away from the basketball court now, a little, a little bit more personal. Who has the best hair on the team? Oh, Sky. Sky does. Yeah. What, if, what if Matthew brings back the mullet? Then it would be Matt. <laughs> then it would be Matt, okay. And uh, best on the Ox on the team? We don't really be on the Ox. Really? Uh, they tell us to like put a, we just put a playlist together oh and gosh. like we give it to the coaches and really Tyler, Tyler Underwood, he's, Tyler. Be, he's on the Ox. So All right. Uh, most likely to coach after their playing days on the team right now, do you think? Mm, Luke. Okay. What, what about him makes him a good coach? Uh, he just, he always talking and trying to teach uh, guys. Uh, I feel like. After he's playing, he'll be a really good coach. I heard you're a good Madden player. Who's the best gamer on the team? Uh, I am in Madden. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty. I haven't really seen like. I know that they all play shooting games, so I don't. I can't tell Is who's that the not best. You? At, no, I don't play shooting. Games. <laughs> <laughs> I got gotcha. you. All right, well, Terrence, thank you so much for your time, man. I appreciate it. Welcome thank to Champagne, and uh, good luck this year. Yes, sir. Thank you.